Hello folks, this is J5 here at the lovely Kensico Dam. This is my first time skating aggressive in about uh, eight plus years. Um, I actually did a lot better than I thought I would. Uh, I was actually to stick on some grinds, didn't go very far, and with the flat setup that I have of the 50-50s on these Remedies, 03s, um, I was uh, getting quite a bit of wheel bite, but my Mizus and my um, Kind grinds, you know, they're coming back to me. I wasn't afraid to jump up and stick on them. But one of the things I think I want to talk about is these remedies. Um, I know the new remedies came out. These ZO3s. The uh, I got them at the end of my skating days um, and uh, skated them a little, but never really felt that comfortable in them. I missed my Solomon so much. But I finally found a setup that actually feels almost exactly like my old Solomons. Uh, so what I did in the O3s was I took out the uh, the, the uh, cuffs and really cranked down on the straps. So there is an inner cuff that is integrated with the liner. Um, well, there's a liner pocket that goes over the cuffs so that they feel like almost one piece. And um, what really works here is basically the uh, you feel really close to the grind like you did on the Solomons, um, almost like your foot is right onto the ledge. Um, it does have a wider cell area than the Solomons that took a little getting used to, but uh, uh, I felt like I was sticking really well with these. And uh, what was key is the cuff. So I was skating these with one of the cuffs on because uh, for the O3s the bolts weren't very good. They got stripped a lot. Um, I finally had the tools to drum all them off. And now the flex pattern on this is amazing. Uh, it has the forward and backwards flex pattern um, of, the, of the Solomons because of the V-cut here. Solomons kind of achieved that with a... Um, uh, their bolt had a sort of a slot on it. And that slot would allow flex forward and back of the actual um, cuff. Uh, also in the royal position, um, there's actually quite a bit of resistance as you get up, which is good. But you can tweak over a lot before it starts to get really, really stiff. And it's not as stiff as, say, the razor cuffs uh, were... I had skated razors for a little bit and never really got used to that. So, because of the stiffness of the cuffs. Uh, and also the bulk of some of the plastic pieces that you grind on. I'm used to more close to your foot sort of feeling. So, I'm kind of quite happy with the setup. I don't know if I would do gaps and that's more, uh, or larger gaps. Uh, it's more because of my, my age. Uh, I'm 42 now, and um, I've messed up my ankles in a number of ways, including jumping off uh, a 10 foot, doing a 10 foot drop, dead drop from one of those towers there. Um, <laughs> uh, it was, uh, I made it a couple of times, and I had my cuffs really loose because that's how I liked them at the time. And uh, the last time my ankle just went to the floor, and I had to go to the hospital. It was mainly badly sprained. Um, so I wouldn't do much with this uh, uh, gaps. Um, I would probably put on a cuff, maybe do an outer cuff or something if I wanted to do gaps anymore. I don't think I'll ever want to do large gaps. Uh, but it feels great. Um, skating regularly with this and doing grinds uh, where I don't really have a danger of uh, of, of the boot hitting in a weird angle and my ankle going down to the ground. So uh, I think there's enough resistance there um, with lower impact. Um, I don't know if I trust it on the higher impacts of it. But the shock absorber is amazing. Uh, the other key thing I did was take out the footbed. Um, it gave me more wiggle room, felt more like the roominess of, this, of the Solomons. Um, I actually think the liners in here are even more comfortable than the Solomons. I don't get as foot cramps like I did uh, with the Solomons. Not that I got bad foot cramps with the Solomons, but it would happen after a while. Um, and so 
you know, taking out that footbed really gave me a little more room. Um, and I think the lean is now perfect. I think the footbed added too much lean. There's still a shock absorber underneath the liner. Um, and so you still get that lean. You still get that shock absorption. It's great. And as I said, I'm rocking the weight 50-50s, uh, thanks to the law, and 50-50, I think, ADA wheels. Um, these things roll like a dream, and they feel so solid. They slotted right into the EFS channel. Um, I know in the past I've had ground controls, and they felt a little bendy on, the, on this. Um, but... You know, I've always wanted to skate 50-50, and for some reason I went with ground control back in the day. And I think I like the traditional sort of groove of the 50-50 more than the large H block of the uh, ground controls. So, uh, that's my review. And uh, it's great being back. I'm thanking Law, I'm thanking his videos for really getting me back into blading. Um, and really, like, you know, doing this... I don't know how far I'm going to go with it. I'm using it for exercise and just to like, you know, feel that freedom of, again, of being able to do uh, athletic tricks that I never thought I could do. Uh, and all you have to do is just keep practicing at it and keep trying and keep doing it and do it safely. Wear pads, <laughs> at least a helmet. All right, that's it. Thank you.